Hello everyone, I just got my Vera Bradley stuff in and so I wanted to show you my haul. This was bought on President's Day, February 2017 and this is their sale that they had. Makeup Traveler set. Uh, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, you can kind of see it on me. Uh, which is fine because really what I wanted this for was the bags that are inside of it. I want to use these bags for my um, baby bag. So they come out, um, they're really nice. You know, this could be used as a pencil case. I mean, again, see the size. And then each bag just gets a little bigger. So then you have this square one. Um, and then you have a little bit bigger one, seam pattern. Um, this is a, oh, um, it, it's not your normal material. It's like a canvas material. And then it comes with this little makeup, no mirror case. Um, but this will be great just, you know, for random items in the baby bag. Um, and I'll show you what I'm going to use as a baby bag as well. So that is the um, cosmetic, four piece cosmetic organizer. Normal suggested retail price is $58. The next item is called a bitty bag. Um, if you don't know what a bitty bag is, is um, some, especially in the baby world, they call them wet dry bags, but they are lined with this plastic liner. So that way if you have swimsuits or whatever the case is, you can throw it in here, um, cinch this up and you're good to go. Uh, again, I wanted to use this for the baby bag. So in case we have any blowouts or accidents, um, the baby's clothes can go into here and I won't have to worry about it getting the rest of the material all messed up. This was $28 suggested retail. And they're all in this seam pattern. So the next is a Glenna bag. I am actually carrying a black version of this right now. And before that, I was carrying a another pattern. Um, but I love this purse. So I'm super excited um, that again, I'm getting it all to match. It has a zipper front or a complete zipper. It's got cardboard in the bottom and it has um, four pockets. So one pocket on this side, one pocket on this side, excuse me, two pockets and then a zipper. Um, but then the front has a pocket and so does the back on the outside. Um, and it's a pretty generous, drop on it so this is the Glenna and I love it I have been like I said I've been using it now for almost a year I want to say um, and this pattern by the way is Northern Lights but this Glenna bag is suggested to retail at $80 the next piece I have is the hanging organizer um, I thought this would be good for the hospital you know especially in case I do if I have to end up having a c-section which I'm hoping I don't, but just in case. Um, it has a tie on the front to tie it out, and then it unravels like so. Pretty generous pocket. So you've got you know just a zipper here, a zipper here with two bags that are also lined, and then this is a pretty generous um, little pouch that you can put stuff in. So I thought this would be really great. I can throw me and my husband's stuff all in here and then I can just hang this in our bathroom um, for the hospital. And then anytime that we travel going forward, this will also work. The suggested retail on this was $48. <coughs> I got a little coin purse. Um, it's just your basic coin purse. Um, very, you know, basic. Again, same matching pattern. Everything that I did get is in this pattern. Um, and um, the coin purse retails for $14, but, you know, it's a good size. I needed something for change because I switch wallets. Is the Vera Bradley Weekender. Um, I debated between the Weekender, the... Um, and the duffel bag, and I decided to go with this. So if, you know, you can kind of see, um, one of the things that I do love about the new updated stuff, other than some of the older stuff I have, is the swivels. So this completely swivels, completely. Um, so I don't have to worry about getting, um, you know, tied up or, you know, tangled. It's gonna completely swivel. 
As far as size goes, this is a pretty decent size bag. I hope you guys can see that okay. It has a zipper pocket on the front. Um, so you've got this zipper pocket here. And it's just open, completely open. There's nothing, no pockets, no organization of any kind in that. On the back, you have um, your slip for going over your um, luggage. And then you have two pockets, small pockets on either side. Uh, you do not have any pockets on the side itself of the bag, which is fine. Um, because it is a very, you know, generous bag. I mean, it's, I can list the dimensions, but it's, it's a pretty big bag, you know, once it's actually um, flared out. It does have three pockets on the inside here. So, and actually there's five pockets total. So you've got one here, one here, and one here. And then on this side, you have two pretty big size pockets. Um, and this is what I was considering to use for the baby bag um, or possibly a hospital bag. So I'll show you the other alternative. I haven't decided which one. Um, I have a baby bag, but I thought for the hospital and all the stuff that they give you, this might be a good option just to take. I know it's mine. All the stuff is going to match. Um, and again, price-wise for what I bought it for, it was a steal. Uh, suggested retail on this is actually quite a bit, um, and I don't see the tag, I don't know where it is. So I'll list it um, down below so you can see what suggested retail is versus what I actually got it for. Oh, here it is. And suggested retail is 98 for this, um, and I'll, I'll tell you what I got. But um, I'm really happy with this decision on what I went with as far as the two pieces I picked out. This is the other alternative, and this is the Vera Bradley Grand Traveler Bag. Um, so if you ever wondered the size of the two, here's your show. This is actually a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be, um, as you can see. Um, it To me, it was also more like a duffel. And so the reason why I decided to go with this is because it was taller than a duffel. Um, and again, you know, you have your stuff on the side. On the front, well, I guess this is the back, you have just a magnetic closure, big, huge pocket, nothing major. On the front, um, I guess that is the back, technically, because this is your slip through pocket for your carry on. And then you've got two um, pockets here. And you can see how far these go down on my wrist you know um, they're really deep pockets this is a lot bigger bag like I said than I actually expected it to be even though I did look at the dimensions and the sizes um, what I do love is the height okay so it has a cardboard bottom just like the other one and it's got the same pocket interior it's got um, two pockets on this side one here and one here and then it's got two pockets on the other side, one here and one here. So, you know, those other bags I think will go really well in this um, for organization. So just as a comparison, comparison, pardon me, this is the Weekender. This is the Grand Traveler. So you can see how much bigger um, the Grand Traveler is than the Weekender. So just as a good comparison, I think this one on top, the Weekender is going to be a good baby bag. Um, and then this one might end up being my hospital bag because you can see all of this space that's in here. And I will use packing cubes to sort everything out. I'll do another video on that when I get it packed. So I'm really happy about these two. This one, of course, is more expensive. So you have to take that into consideration. It suggested retail is $120, um, but it is a really nice size bag. Um, very, very nice size. So that's probably the biggest bag I own now. So again, back on baby, um, I wanted to have something just in case I needed it as far as pouches. So this is the, um, large zip cosmetic case. One of the things about the cosmetic cases is they're lined 
with this plastic material, see-through plastic, which is great in case anything spills, which is why I thought it would be wonderful, again, for a diaper bag. Uh, and this is a pretty, really good size little baggie. I mean, it's it's really good size. And this suggested retails $34. I also picked that up in the medium size. So same thing, it's gonna have the plastic interior, plastic stuff here, but it's just gonna be a little bit smaller. So again, as a comparison here, you've got large and small, or large and medium. Make sure I say that right. Yeah, large and medium. So, you know, pretty good size. Um, this is a lot bigger than what I expected it to be. I don't know why. I just, when I think large, this seems like an extra large to me. Like what I would buy is an extra large cosmetic bag. Um, and this might be, you know, just a medium, I guess, is okay for this one. But this one seems to be a whole lot bigger um, than large. And the medium suggested retail is $28. And then finally, the last thing I got, again, thinking baby, was a cooler. So this is their lunch cooler, all on sale. But I plan on breastfeeding, and I plan on breastfeeding, or at least pumping, rather, when I go back to work. And so this will work great for my bottles. Um, I you know, made sure to look at the measurements and the bottles I want to use, and the height that this is, you can see really tall um I wanted to make sure that the bottles would fit in here whether I used like Medela bottles or I used our regular bottles and I think this will be perfect um so I can pump at work and then I can put my name in here stick this in the fridge that we have because we have a separate office for that and then all I have to do is take this out um, at the end of the day and my pump and everything will stay at work because I plan on having two and then um, I can just bring this home with me, whether I use bottles or whether I use bags. So that is the lunch cooler. And this suggested retail is $34. And again, I'll, I'll put in the comments or down here below the video what I actually paid for this. Now that's everything I actually ordered. Um, but because I ordered this all on President's Day, they ended up shipping me a free mail bag in classic black. Um, this is a lot bigger, again, than what I expected. Um, it's meant to be a crossbody, but for me, this looks more like a purse. But who knows? So here's your straps with your adjustable rings. Um, it's a one entry. You have a, um, a pocket on the back. And then you have a messenger style flap that opens up into your main part and then you have another little pocket here in front which is is okay i mean that's good access and it's pretty deep you know um and then you also have a zipper up here and this opens to the back um that also expands a little you see that um that, that expansion there so that's actually the back of the bag um and then here is your in, in guts, <laughs> your internal. So it's it's not bad. Um, it suggested retail was $88. And like I said, because of when I ordered, I did get this for free. So I will plan on using this occasionally, depending on, you know, going to the movies or whatever the case is. So um, that is my Vera Bradley haul for the fall 2016 um, line that's going out in 2017. So thank you for watching and um, I'll plan on doing another Vera Bradley haul. Not so much a haul, but what I actually have. Um, so you can kind of see my entire collection. So thank you again.